Section 32 of My Bible History Old Testament by Bishop Morrow. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Maria Therese. Passage Through the Red Sea. Moses led the children of Israel out of Egypt. They were about 600,000 men, besides women and children. They took along all their flocks and herds. They also took with them the bones of Joseph. And with all their goods, they set out for the promised land. God guided them during the journey. He went before them by day in a pillar of cloud, and by night in a pillar of fire. They could march because of the light, by night as well as by day. The pillar of cloud and fire is a figure of Jesus Christ, who is the way, the truth, and the life. As soon as the Israelites had left, the king was sorry that he had let them go. He had lost the best workers in the land, and so he prepared an army to pursue the Israelites and bring them back. The children of Israel had stopped to rest on the shores of the Red Sea. When they saw the king's army, they were afraid. They blamed Moses, crying to him, Why did you bring us out of Egypt to die in this desert? Moses answered, God will protect us. The pillar of cloud that had gone before the Israelites to show them the way went behind them, hiding them from the Egyptians. In obedience then to God's command, Moses stretched his hands over the Red Sea. Immediately the waters were divided and rolled back on both sides. The Israelites walked over the dry floor of the Red Sea to the other side. The Egyptian army followed them. But as soon as the Israelites were safe on shore, Moses stretched forth his hand once more. The waters were united and flowed together as before. All the king's chariots and horses and soldiers were drowned in the sea. Nothing of the Egyptians was left on the shore. The children of Israel saw everything that happened to the Egyptians. They knew then that God was protecting them from their enemies. They knew that he had led them out of the land of bondage. With Moses and Aaron, the Israelites rejoiced and sang hymns of praise to show their gratitude to God. End of section 32